Okay, here's the story. Um, I took the car for a drive after Snowmageddon here in Texas, and uh, the car died uh, heading down the road, and I was able to start it, and I'd drive a little bit, and it died die again, and was able to limp it most of the way back home. Um, uh, once I got it uh, pushed in front of my house, um, I wasn't able to get started again. And so what we have here is a, um, a Remy Delco uh, coil. It's showing uh, 1.8 ohms on the primary and 8,000 ohms on the secondary. Uh, we have the 009 centrifugal um, distributor uh, with a new condenser because that was what I thought was my problem, so I replaced it. Um, and, uh, and I continue to have problems. I have seen very um, kind of a weak spark out of the coil. It's uh, kind of a yellow orange. Um, and I see no spark off of the uh, any of the, the, the plugs um, when I try to, to measure that. So what I decided to do is get a Protronics coil as well as a Protronics vacuum advance distributor. And I put those guys in and I had the same problem. Uh, and it wasn't starting. And so um, I started going through the Petronics troubleshooting steps in their documentation. And one of the steps, uh, well, let me just rephrase some of them. One of them is to measure uh, the, um, uh, the ohms to ground. I was seeing like uh, 0.2 ohms um, between the casing of the distributor uh, and ground. So that seemed okay. Uh, I was seeing um, uh, on the input on the positive coil wire with the key on and not running, I was seeing like eight and a half volts. If I disconnected from the coil, uh, I saw 12 and a half volt. Um, so I attribute that to um, uh, the uh, coil actually kind of uh, being charged during that moment. It was sucking up some of there's, you know, three ohms of resistance in the coil. So, um, oh, and also I, right now I measured the, the uh, Petronics coil and it's showing three ohms uh, on the primary and 10,000 ohms on the secondary. Um, I'm not sure what I said on this one. This one's actually 8,000. I don't know. Hopefully that's what I said earlier. So uh, anyway, I got the Petronic system in, couldn't start it. One of the steps was to remove everything off of the negative post of the coil tower, except the black wire going to the Petronix distributor. Um, and so what, what the only other thing that's on there is, is this guy who's going to whatever this is. I, I'm not sure what this does. It goes in the bottom of the carburetor there. And then also the other wire goes around to the uh, choke there. Um, so I disconnected those and uh, went to start it and it started, um, which was great. So I assume that my problem is something going on between those two things. Something's grounding out, don't know. And the engine ran for about two minutes and then it died. And so I turned the key off and I walked back around here to look and see what was going on. And I touched that Protronics coil and it was a thousand degrees hot. It was just crazy. Um, like hot, very hot to the touch. And the only thing I can imagine that might cause that is the uh, voltage regulator um, on this guy not working properly. Maybe he's outputting like 17, 18 volts and, uh, and getting that guy hot. Um, I mean, they're normally hot, but not that hot. Um, anyway, I went back to start again. Uh, can't get the car to start. And so I've now come back and put in the original things, hoping that something to do with this was my original problem, and it's still not starting. And I am at my wit's end. I don't know what to try next. So I'm eager to hear ideas on troubleshooting and what I should try. So let me know what you think. Okay, another troubleshooting step. I've got my coil. Um... Uh, hot coming in and I connected the uh, uh, the high tension directly to a spark plug and held it there to ground it and then took a jumper from the negative coil to ground to interrupt it which should discharge spark on that guy and it does not um, I have 12 volts from here to ground uh, if I connect from here here to ground, I see 12 volts also, which I'm not sure what to expect there. Uh, but I do not see spark out of that guy. So um, something's going on there. I'm going to try with my other coil and see if it behaves any better. Okay. Interestingly enough, uh, 
with Protronics in there. I still don't see spark. Um, however, I did see spark on my probe that was scratching on the ground. So I, so I know it's closing out. Um, again, I'm seeing 12 volts from here to ground. Uh, and, uh, and that's kind of confirmed when I, when I ran a jumper directly from negative, uh, the negative terminal to ground, but I did not see spark on that plug. Um, uh, I, I, it's gotta be like a voltage supply. I, I don't know. I'm getting, it's 12 and a half volts. It should be plenty. Uh, is it possible that I have damaged a second coil when I hooked it up and, uh, whatever the root cause is, is burned two coils? Maybe, but the, uh, the resistance on the coils is what I expect. Um, so I, I, I don't, it doesn't seem like that's a possible culprit. So I'm still struggling to, to nail it down.